China and the U.S. have been working bilateral, through bilateral means uh, and also through multilateral platforms like G20. So I think there are numerous cases, um, successful cases, saying that U.S. and China can work on common challenges. So I'm looking forward to uh, the Biden administration resuming that cooperation with China. I'm not kind of, you know, well, an article saying that this kind of cooperative competition is very much possible. Thank you, Dr. Zhao, for sharing your insights with us. We've been talking to Dr. Zhao Hai, Research Fellow with Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Coming up, we'll take a look at the 17th China ASEAN Expo, which will be held in Nanning on Friday. This is World Today. Stay with us. As a guest speaker with today, I feel very much grateful for providing a chance for me to communicate to the world in China's progress and China's accomplishment and also China's rich cultural heritage and, of course, China's desire to integrate itself into the international community. Our talks today open the window as well as build a bridge between people in China and the world. Welcome back. You're listening to World Today. I'm Zhao Ying. The 17th China ASEAN